care for the patients who entrust their care to us and are fighting cancer. Uh, it's this commitment to excellence that has propelled the UF Health Proton Therapy Institute from the time that it was a, a project first conceived in 1998 uh, until our doors opened and we treated our first patient in August of 2006 through today. I'd especially like to thank my colleagues who uh, have made the contributions that were uh, such an integral part of this prestigious designation and uh, congratulate all of you uh, on the job well done. Our efforts have been to set new standards of cancer care and uh, with that goal uh, we've been well received by our patients, those who care for them, and our colleagues. We're very proud that we're among the top five proton therapy centers in the world in terms of number of patients treated and number of treatments delivered. We've treated patients from 49 states and 29 countries. And we're very proud that we have the largest pediatric proton therapy program in the world. The majority of our patients are actually patients who are referred to us by people who've been treated here or their family members. And as an academic health center, uh, we realize that research is essential to everything that we uh, want to accomplish uh, in our mission. Nearly all of our patients are treated on a registry study to track their outcomes so that we can learn from uh, those uh, treatments and, and outcomes and advance cancer care and elevate the science uh, of radiation oncology and cancer treatment. We have more than 21 clinical trials underway. <coughs> we reported our benchmark results and five-year results from the treatment of prostate cancer and those show that the vast majority of our prostate cancer patients are cancer free and have a good quality of life. Our early studies with pediatric brain tumors, Hodgkin's disease, lung cancer, breast cancer, and pancreatic cancer uh, also show very similar promise in controlling tumors while minimizing the damage to healthy tissues. Uh, as we continue to uh, Make Cancer History, today's designation as a uh, Cancer Center of Excellence will certainly help us keep that focus to never give up and to always strive to improve the care that we deliver to our patients and to, to strive towards cure. Uh, joining us today is someone who knows uh, a bit about making cancer history, uh, Jacksonville Beach resident, Mr. Steve Scarborough. Uh, we have uh, treated nearly 6,000 patients, as you've heard, uh, to this point. And Steve happens to be the 3,575th person to be treated for prostate cancer here. And he's reaching a significant milestone today as he completes his proton therapy. Please welcome Mr. Scarborough. Thank you very much, Dr. Henderson. And good morning, everybody. Yeah, this is a milestone for me in more ways than one. Uh, I wouldn't have known about this place had it not been for my best friend Doug, who's here, who three years ago I was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer and doing research. I uh, said the alternatives, I didn't like the outcomes or the percentages of success. They scared me and I said and I didn't want to have a deterioration of quality of life. So. Doug calls me and says, uh, I thought that you know that I have prostate cancer and that uh, uh, I'm going to be going to proton therapy. And I'm going, I've never heard of that, which is one of the problems that we face is the doctors around here don't promote it or realize if the beneficial effects of uh, proton therapy. So um, he said, you need to look into it. I told him, well, I have cancer too. And he said, well, you need to look into it. And I was leery because being skeptical and everything I'd read and everything had gone on was so bad anyway. I said, this, even if that's, it couldn't be, it's still gonna be bad. And then he finished, he says, this is a piece of cake. He said, and, he, and I was fortunate. He was able to explain to me the whole process that he went through. And so then I applied and uh, that, uh, and Dr. Meet with uh, Dr. Mendenhall, Dr. Bill Mendenhall, 
and uh, I felt very welcome just from that meeting and went on to go ahead and uh, was fortunate enough to be accepted in the 28 day, uh, 29 treatment plan, which is one of the accelerated plans that they were just talking about. One of the keys to this place of success really deals in the fact that the people have such a positive attitude. Being positive can mean more to the body healing than medicine itself. If you don't, if you're depressed and don't feel like you can be healed, and you've got oh the dreaded C word, and you hide in the corner, that all the medicine in the world is, is had to fight that as well as the cancer. But what they've done here with being such a positive group of people that they created a family of people that want to be cured, expect to be cured, and the body knows it's going to be cured. So therefore, they've created an army of positive health, which it makes their job easier because that means that their effects, the effects of the proton therapy seem to work better because we are more willing to accept it. I know it may not be scientifically a fact, but the mind has a lot to do with the body's healing. And they've created an army of not just being uh, patients, they've created an army of cancer survivors for the University of Florida Health Proton Therapy Institute. So we're all members of that, that uh, we go out and we, are, we're, we radiate our positive effect on the other people so that they can realize the benefits of what the Proton Therapy Institute has. When I ring the bell at this moment, um, it's not necessarily just for me, it's actually for the army of Proton uh, Therapy Institute survivors and what, uh, what we all stand for and uh, how proud we are of the work that they're doing. So, with that, I thank you very much.